day and welcome to Wow Killer, Florida. As an Australian woman who has fallen in love with this small town, I'm excited to show you around and share some of its hidden gems. First up, we have the Hardy County Wildlife Refuge, a beautiful nature preserve that's perfect for hiking, bird watching, and wildlife viewing. The park features a variety of habitats, including wetlands, pine forests, and oak hammocks, and is home to all sorts of creatures, including alligators, deer, and hundreds of bird species. If you're looking for something a little more relaxing, head over to the Peace River for a peaceful day of kayaking or fishing. The river is famous for its clear, shallow water and is home to a variety of fish, including bass, catfish, and tilapia. For history buffs, Wow Killer also has a fascinating past. The town was founded in the late 1800s and was originally a center for the cattle industry. Today, you can explore the Pioneer Park Museum, which showcases the town's history through a collection of artifacts, photographs, and exhibits. And no visit to Wow Killer is complete without trying some of the local cuisine. The town is known for its southern-style cooking, and you won't be disappointed with the options. Whether you're in the mood for barbecue, fried chicken, or seafood, you'll find something delicious to eat here. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of Wow Killer, Florida. It may be a small town, but it's full of charm, history, and natural beauty. Wow Killer was founded in 1886, and its name is thought to come from the Seminole word for call of the Sand Hill Crane. The town was originally a hub for the cattle industry, and cowboys would drive their herds through the area on their way to markets in Punta Gorda and Fort Myers. In the early 1900s, the Atlantic Coast Line Railroad arrived in Waukila, bringing new opportunities for growth and development. The railroad made it easier for farmers and ranchers to transport their goods to other parts of the state and beyond. During World War II, Waukila became home to a U.S. Army Air Force's training base. Thousands of young men were trained at the base, and the town experienced a period of growth and prosperity. Today, Wow, Kila is a small town with a population of just over 5,000. It's known for its agricultural industry, particularly citrus and cattle, and is home to several large groves and ranches. The town also has a vibrant downtown area with shops, restaurants, and historical landmarks, such as the old Hardy County Courthouse, which was built in 1927 and now serves as a museum. Despite its small size, Wow Killer has played an important role in the history of Florida and remains a vital part of the state's agricultural industry. It has produced a number of notable individuals who have made significant contributions in their respective fields. Here are a few famous people from Wow Killer. Ray Lewis, former NFL linebacker who played his entire 17-year career with the Baltimore Ravens and was a two-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year. Greg Carr, professional basketball player who has played in the NBA. EuroLeague, and China Basketball Association. Richard L. Austin, former Secretary of State of Florida and the first African American elected to statewide office in Florida. Bill Hamack, known as Engineer Guy. He is a science writer, public speaker, and YouTube personality who explains the science behind everyday objects and phenomena. Annette Trosbach, founder and producing artistic director of the Laboratory Theatre of Florida in Fort Myers. These individuals have made a name for themselves in sports, politics, science, and the arts, and they all hail from Waukila, Florida. Here are a few fast food places in Waukila. McDonald's, located at 1490 US Highway 17N. McDonald's is a fast food staple and offers burgers, fries, chicken sandwiches, and more. Subway, also located at 1490 US Highway 17N, Subway is known for its sandwiches, salads, and other quick eats. Taco Bell, located at 1492 US Highway 17N, Taco Bell is a popular choice for Mexican-inspired fast food, such as tacos, burritos, and nachos. KFC, located at 1480 US Highway 17N. KFC offers fried chicken, sides, and other fast food options. Hardee's, located at 904 South 6th Avenue, Hardee's is known for its burgers, chicken sandwiches, and breakfast items. It's an absolute tripper of a place, tucked away in the heart of rural Florida. The folks here are fair dinkum and as friendly as they come, always ready to lend a hand to a mate in need. Now, I don't know about you, 
but I reckon the food here is bloody bonza. There's a few good tucker joints around town where you can grab a snag or some junk with a side of chippies. And if you're a fan of a frothy or two, there's a couple of great pubs where you can sink a few coldies with the locals. But what really gets me going is the natural beauty around these parts. You've got the Peace River running right through town, with some top-notch fishing and boating to be had. And just a bit further out, there's some stunning national parks with all sorts of flora and fauna to marvel at. So don't be a drongo, mate. If you're ever passing through Florida, be sure to swing by Wow Killer and soak up some of that true blue Aussie spirit in this little town. It's truth. Mate, I've got to be honest, I'm feeling a bit of regret about moving to Wow Killer, Florida. I thought it would be a fair dinkum place to settle down, but it's just not my cup of tea. For starters, it's hotter than a shearer's armpit around here. The humidity is off the charts, and I can barely step outside without breaking into a sweat. And don't even get me started on the wildlife. I've come across more creepy crawlies in my backyard than I care to count. And while I thought the small town charm would be endearing, I'm finding it hard to make any real mates. There's only so many times you can go to the local pub and have a yarn with the same group of blokes. I suppose I'll stick it out for a bit longer, but I'm definitely missing home. Give me a cool breeze off the coast and a cold beer any day of the week. I'm about to become homeless. If you are like me there are a number of resources available in Wow Killer and the surrounding area that may be able to provide assistance. You could start by contacting local organizations such as the Hardy Help Center which provides emergency assistance for basic needs like food, clothing, and shelter. There's also the Hardy County Housing Authority, which may be able to provide affordable housing options or connect you with other resources. If you're feeling overwhelmed or in crisis, it may be helpful to reach out to a mental health professional. The Hardy County Health Department has a behavioral health services division that offers counseling and support for a variety of mental health concerns.